What's up guys, Tao here. Uh, this is a quick video on sharing my own experience on uh, keep my Apple ID clean after reinstalling and rebuild the system. And sometimes if you uh, keep on redoing that and maybe you forgot to uh, delete that device within Apple ID, so over time that will keep appearing within your account. Now today I'll be showing you how I got rid of them and maybe you guys can learn from it. For me, I do a lot of system testing, so all the time I keep constantly change the system definition. So therefore, the serial number will be changing constantly. So when I log into my iCloud account, so that kind of will register to, uh, as a new device. So from that, from time to time, so I normally just go back to the Apple ID and just to clean up the uh, unwanted devices. But um, the last time I actually went into there, I just realized I got two or three different devices constantly reappearing. It uh, doesn't matter how many times I delete them and it's still coming back uh, after I log back into my account. So the reason being is that um, when I change the system definition, when I do a testing, uh, when I send into the Apple ID on the old uh, configuration, I just simply forgot to remove or forgot to sign out uh, iCloud completely. So when I rebuild them, so when I actually sign into my iCloud again, for some reason iCloud will automatically think I have a second or third or the fourth devices. So they keep reappearing. Um, that is driving me a little bit crazy. Uh, I'm not OCD by any way. Maybe a little bit, but no. Um, so yeah. So now this um, this kind of situation, uh, you guys may know who actually built Hackintosh, Hackintoshers, um, pretty good name, Hackintoshers. So yeah, um, my experience is yeah two key things to uh, get rid of it. Um, if you couldn't do that at the moment and you want to go back to get rid of the old devices, two elements. One is the serial number of that um, system definition. Second is system unique identification, which is SMUUID. So now iCloud, in my opinion, and my experience, iCloud will recognize these two uh, aspects and that will determine either it's a new device or not. So if you forgot to delete them after you rebuild or re change the system definition, um, I will suggest you go back to your Apple ID and use the same serial number appeared within your account and set that serial number for your system definition and then see if it works sign to um sign to your apple id and then use the same serial number as the one appear and delete uh, remove uh, the um, device within your account see if that works if that doesn't work you have to keep changing the smuuid or just the system unique identification until you find a match uh, system ID uh, to the existing one within your Apple ID. So now keep the serial numbers the same and it just keep changing the uh, SMUUID until you actually remove the one within your account. Um, I know sometimes it takes quite a while. Um, it's almost kind of a try and error or there's a luck into it as well. Um, as long as the serial number is the same and just keep changing the um, system unique ID number. So hopefully you will get rid of it. Um, that happened to me, so it took me like three, four times just to get rid of the all the devices which is linked to my account. So yeah, for right now, um, only the device I actually own uh, appeared in my Apple ID. So I'm quite happy with it. Now to prevent this thing happen again in the near future, uh, in my opinion, if you have a working uh, system definition with the uh, SMUUID, um, is to keep a record of it uh, just in case once you change the system ID, everything is changed again. So you can go back uh, to your record and set the serial number and the system ID exactly the same as the one appear in your account. And then you can delete very, very easily that way. So I personally learned learn hard way and hopefully um, this will help you guys. Um, hopefully uh, make everything be easier for you guys. Now you might want to ask the question, can I just leave them in my account without touching them, even though, you know, technically they don't exist? In my experience, yes, you probably can. Uh, the reason actually I'm doing this video is um, a few days ago, the iCloud keep uh, prompt me uh, sign into Apple ID. And um, so it kind of annoys me a little bit. So when I sign on, that's where I realized because I haven't done this for a long time. So that's where I realized I have a, quite a few devices. They don't actually exist. 
so hence this video. Um, now, if you do get a prompt by iCloud just to sign in to your Apple ID and just use the opportunity to clean up and just keep your Apple ID clean and just make sure your the device you actually own, either the real one or either the real Mac or the Hackintosh. So, you know, I think probably it's a good idea to keep them clean. Um, I don't think there's a real reason you should be doing it or shouldn't be doing that. Uh, that one, just me. So I will just share, share my experience. Um, yeah, hopefully um, this video actually helped you guys, hopefully useful. If you haven't checked your Apple ID for quite a while, I suggest you go into your ID and check it. And if you do find a few uh, devices which is, they don't exist, try to clean them. If it works, fantastic. If it doesn't, just keep changing the um, system ID number and keep the same serial number until you actually find a match um, machine, I guess. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.